Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Integrate. Alright, so we are going to be catching up to our blonde helper person who doesn't matter and... <laughs> she has what? a random, like, spreads her arms out for no reason running Run, animation. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's you, good. You, 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 you absolutely Naruto run in school. Oh. Well, that's not even a Naruto run. That's her, like, spreading her arms out and pretending to fly. That's just the kind of thing you do to mess around, you know? You know, I definitely did that. Like, I'm an airplane! It's com and it's completely random, too. It's like the only... Th oh, Jesus. The only thing... Um, the only other game that I can think of that does something like that is uh, actually Persona 3, where occasionally, when you run around, the main character will put his hands in his pockets and run with his hands in his pockets, all cool-like. Um, okay, so we're gonna save Blondie? Yep. Okay. Need to create a distraction. I hope, I hope we save Blondie, otherwise that's gonna make Yuffie's cockiness just tragic. Um... I don't know, just so done with her. <laughs> She's literally Naruto. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, this is where she takes it off, isn't it? Yep. I'm Smoke Batman. bomb. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing a freaking Showtime attack. This is like a freaking uh, Sailor Moon. <laughs> yeah. Nonsense. Yeah, she's wearing the outfit. Ta-da! Even though we've been playing as you for three parts already. <laughs> oh, called it. I knew that was gonna. <laughs> Never mind. It's just some kid. <laughs> Hero landing. <laughs> How did you cut his... I mean, it has spikes in the end. Does it? Yeah. I, I don't know. That doesn't look safe. <laughs> I mean, probably not, but... <laughs> Wait. And Where are they going? You, this is why you get Ramu. Oh. Okay. Oh, because of, um... Oh, no, what you do get elemental materia in this game, because I gave it to the same persona. Oh. Is there no place where you can just buy materia in this? In this? Uh, maybe in town, but once you leave, you don't come back there, really. Oof. Okay, change the lightning. This boss is pretty fun. Um, yeah, it looks cool. It's definitely... Bigger than a lot of the other um, bosses like this, which is really neat. Um, yeah, it helps that they give you a big open arena for it. Continuing yeah. the continuing the trend of the weapons development decision ba division basing most of its robots on bugs. I, I don't know. Does that say something about Scarlet? I think it says something about Scarlet. Um, Almost certainly, I mean, kind of. but you know. Yeah. But yeah, I like this robot design. It's also the kind of design that specifically takes advantage of the fact that it's an eh, that it's an action-based combat system with you know a really interesting body shape and um, mode of you know mobility throughout the fight. Okay, where is it? Oh, hi there. Uh, if it's a centipede type enemy, it has to crawl through the walls. It's, it's 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 just you know legally required whenever you design this kind of video game boss. It reminds me a lot of the boss in uh, Mario Odyssey, the one that uh, walked on the no. walls like this, which I assume yeah, is just because do. it's a normal. <laughs> it's like you said, a normal ass. Um, it's a pretty common trope. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so it's going to do long range attacks. Uh, its head and tail are different; have different weaknesses as far as physical versus magic. So you do have to be careful as to what you're aiming for.
Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. Spider centipede, spider centipede. It's not that hard, though. Now attack the head. <laughs> this is like the first real boss the this yeah. section has had, right? Yeah. Now I know that I was just I was talking about last time how stupid the the costume was. Can you put it back on? <laughs> no. <laughs> It, it's it's weird. I expected them to do like costumes at some point, you know, because Final Fantasy VII has a lot of them. Not to mention, it's just an easy DLC thing if they wanted to make quick cash, you know. Oh, here's your Advent Children costume DLC for Cloud and for Tifa and whoever. You know? No, but instead they just made stupid accessory DLC for Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, Imagine I mean, how much money they would make if Cloud's Kingdom Hearts costume was DLC. Was the game. Yeah. yeah. Imagine how much money they would make. A ton. <laughs> That's how much money. Yes, indeed. Imagine how much money they'd make if you could wear the dress. Specifically for a cloud, not Tifa. Well, I mean, they'd be probably make plenty of money for a Tifa, too. Let's be... Let's be yes. Hi, Ramu. You're going to help out for the very end of the fight. Is he just oh, not as good right. in the... Um, it's more you don't get a lot of opportunities to use him. You're not gonna be a, no. You're not gonna be able to see Judgment Bolt. He's about to die. Yeah, and he's dead. Oh man. Like I said, there's not a lot of opportunity to use him. Is he just not useful when he's walking on the uh, walls and stuff? No, he's fine. It's just again, this is really this is short, and you can only use him during certain boss encounters. So it's like it's not like the other main game where you have more opportunities to just use summons in general. Ah. Uh. Well, I mean, I saw the summon thing pop up in the, the fight against the frickin' demon bird, but, like... Yeah. No, even, on nor even on a normal playthrough, you're gonna kill that before Ramu actually shows up. Yeah. I mean, it's not a particularly large size summon, so... In the normal game, you'd probably have called him out during one or two normal battles, but there's not really enough game here for that eventuality to come up often while playing the Yuffie side story. And this song, say, I, this song is entirely end of an anime episode. Get, tune in next time. I mean, that's the vibe that they're going for with Yuffie is that she's extremely anime. Hey, um, like that's just 100% what they're going for here. And, you know, that's not a problem. The The problem arises when that's all there is to the character. Yeah, which I definitely don't think that that's the case right now. The, the point of, like, anime tropes in character, in a character sense, is that, like, they're exaggerations on relatability. So there needs to be enough beneath the trope for it, the relatability to come through. Otherwise, it's just annoying. Is like, yeah, Naruto's an annoying person, but he's annoying for, like, down-to-earth reasons. Also, what on earth? Tinra found her hideout. Oh. That's unfortunate. I think this is where those bastards plotted their attacks. Right under our noses. Too bad they made it out before the military could get here. Look at... Look, look behind at you. you. just, like... Being all stealthy and subtle. <laughs> Probably best if we don't stick around. Let's catch the train. What's the point of having the turtleneck top and then only having it be like covering the minimum amount of you possible? Mm. Uh style. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Going the wrong way. It's like you know, an off the shoulder, sh uh, an off the sw shoulder sweater. You're not wearing that to stay warm. You're wearing it because it looks nice. Hmm. Yeah, so this I mean, is I don't know thing. much about style. I wear mm. freaking video game t-shirts every day if yeah, I have. No, th this is uh, this is your last chance to buy things and do for Condor stuff. Wait, really? Already? Yeah. I mean, it is. I I, I guess I understand that this is a short 
side story and that we're already half Hi, Roche. Oh, Are this you? is douchebag Mick Motorcycle Man. What? What? Why, why does she remind you of him? Why are you here? Your ill-concealed hostility and exotic wardrobe would give me pause. Not today, for I am here on business of a personal nature. Looking for my aforementioned friend. He's looking for Cloud. Oh, I only wish I knew. But I can tell you that he has a real need for speed. Dom? And while he boasts a very large... The only thing that matters is family, Ryan. Yeah, he sounds great. Say, is that Fort Condor? Wait, this guy plays the Fort Condor mini. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. I suspect a delicate flower like you would wither if exposed to my scorching passion for the game. Oh my what? god, this is the first time we've had a real conversation with this man, and he's the biggest tool I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's cool to see that he's still around. Uh what? Okay, so when you talk to the happy turtle guy back in town, he says that, um, okay, basically there are five five or six tickets you can get and you get something from him scattered around town, so that's one of them. Oh, I see. It's weird because this is on the PlayStation 5, so when you get it, it also plays a jingle from your controller. What? <laughs> uh, every, th every controller needs to have a fucking speaker. Nowadays, and the first thing I do every time I get a new system is turn that shit off. Okay, so a couple <laughs> of years back, um, uh, me and my friend Catherine were let's playing Dragon Quest Heroes 2. Um, but the thing is, is that when characters are talking in the battle, instead of the sound for them coming in through the speakers so that um, our recording software could pick it up, it came in through the freaking PlayStation 4 speaker and was like, sounded terrible because it was being picked up by our microphone instead. And we had to stop the recording in the middle of the first part and turn off the sound on all of the PlayStation speakers because it was just- Oh awful. man. <laughs> yeah, it's off to Shinra Tower. Oh, good to know that these guys got out. Looks like it's now or never, guys. Bye, Axolo from Guilty Gear. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's just that he reminds you just look like him. Okay. You know what? I expect those characters to come back whenever they continue Biggs's story. Possibly. They'll probably be the people that Biggs meets up with when he's trying to find out what the hell's going on. God damn these Tokyo trains. Oh, uh, yes, of course. And, and she's still motion sick. That's not something you want to be on a train that's packed this badly. Yeah. Yeah, that would be bad. This is, like, probably, like... A train that's packed to the gills this tightly is like one of those images that you associate like directly and only with anime if you live in the West. Because yeah, like, pretty much. Like it, that's one of the only things that you really ever associate with it is the anime trope of, oh, they're like they're, the subways get busy here in Boston, too, but never like this. Mm -hmm. Where you actually do not have any room to breathe. Oh no, it's time for Sona's tragic backstory of my family is dead. Extremely sad backstory. Ah. Uh, well, I mean, it's supposed to. It's supposed to bring the 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 Wu-Tai War more directly into the story. That's something that the main remake was trying to do too, but you know, we didn't have any, we didn't have any characters in... from Wu-Tai to do that. Well, I like well, how- the, Well, the only character we had that was directly involved in that war was Clown and his whole opinion of it is heavily messed up as a result of who he is, so. Yeah. Yeah, and we also didn't really get 
to see his thoughts on it an awful lot because he was more focused on what was going on in the main in the main plot. The Sector Seven Undercity is home to more than fifty thousand. And this is literally the same cutscene we watched in the main game. Yep. I don't mind this kind of stuff in a side story like this. Um, especially when it's short, because it does, again, give you more context as to when this stuff happened in the main story. Shut up, President Shithead. Learn through <laughs> I don't know. I just found that I just find it funny cuz Shinra and Shithead sound similar. President Shithead. <laughs> Shithead Electrical Company. Someone should have called him that in remake now that we're allowed to swear at everyone. No, Barrett did earlier. Oh. Cool. Yeah, you said something like President Shit for Brains or whatnot. You work for Shinra. Isn't that right? Then would you care to come? That was the Hey, that's it's the, him. That, the, yeah, it's the pesky newspaper guy from earlier. <laughs> oh man, he's even got the stupid hat. Stop right there. Also, I think that's the soldier. That's the uh, general guard who talked to Cloud earlier and was going to go get Kunzel. <laughs> Wait, Heidi? She doesn't know what an ID is, so she got the name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Hold the door. Oh no. <laughs> this is the this is gonna be the worst elevator ride in the history of elevator rides. Advanced weaponry. Going down. Wait, they just <laughs> buy that <laughs> we're <laughs> allowed in here? Perfect. No, actually. Perfect. Scarlet's not that dumb. How the mighty are fallen. Wu Tai colluding with Avalanche and resorting to terrorism. She's absolutely messing with them. I always thought Wu Tai honorable people. They used to be, certainly. I'm not racist. I'm just playing up shit. Okay, so, like. Scarlet getting this scene is perfect because, like, she had she had like the least screen time out of all the Shinra people in the main game, right? Yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. What a lovely smile. You should smile more. She absolutely would do that. Oh, Oh, one thousand percent. Yes. Yeah, she knew instantly. <laughs> Scarlet was always like in the original game. She was almost a good character, <laughs> but I didn't like her much. Well, you're it, it not supposed to like her. Uh, well, I mean, uh, not in that sense, but like as a villain, I didn't like her much. <laughs> okay. Um, like it doesn't help. That, like, her most memorable moment was the slapping contest she got into with Tifa. So, uh... Does cat fight? Yeah. Remember, we're here for so she kind of just had, like, all all that she had going for her was that she was catty and evil. It's the kind of personality that can work, but it, it needs a little more push to make it work than what they gave her there. So, um... She, she kind of just came off as a comedy villain, as a comedy villain. Um, I like how they're playing her in the remake, though. Don't worry, we'll get to material research eventually. Just yeah, just as soon as we break out of the impenetrable prison, because they no. left us with our weapons. It's not an impenetrable prison. They just blocked off one way of the hallway. Think yeah, they Scarlet, done a Scarlet is sending us along that. the way to fight her weapons for testing. Yep. Oh, okay. So, well, you know. It's very nice that they get <laughs> the way that she freaking <laughs> jumps on. <laughs> <laughs> I never get tired of it. 